Hello everyone. Hope things are good. Back with you at your home, and uh, you are doing your studies well as well. Because uh, as you have seen, that all the teachers have sent you the syllabus for the upcoming PT2, which is going to happen shortly. I have also sent you the same thing. At the same time, I think you have also got the date sheet, right? So prepare well for the upcoming PT2 examination, right? So. we are into one more new chapter from our english literature book and the name of the chapter is the star and the lily right so from the name uh, if you if you think deeply the star and the lily has some similarity right so what kind of similarity or if it's 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 an imaginative similarity right as we are into the section of wonder tales wonder tales means wonder stories right where in reality that does not happen like we learned in the story of rip van winkle what happened to him and then he went off to sleep for a long time which generally does not happen so this story is also of that kind and through the name we come to understand that there has to be some similarity between the star and the lily so how how the writer has written his imagination and uh, have put the story in front of us let us go through that right so on page number 61 in your literature book we have this chapter named as the star and the lily an oval chieftain sat in his wigwam when a crowd of indian boys and girls suddenly entered and begged him to tell them a story and he did so now in the first passage or in the first paragraph you basically you see the word wigwam it's basically native american now native american is what they are generally from the north america right and they are the original they are actually from north america before the europeans had invaded or the europeans had arrived into those countries what happened they were there from beforehand they are known as to be wigwam right so here in the second line indian boys and girls it's not actually indian boys means not us it is theirs those native americans are also known as american indians also right they are called considered to be the red indians okay so but they are the native people of america right so here the boys and girls which is mentioned in the second line is basically the native american children there was a time when this world was filled with happy people when all the nations were as one none were in want in want means you did uh, people did not have the desire to have more more and more like how it is now sickness was unknown there was no sickness at all today we are going through a very hard time of this pandemic right so at that time that point of time a long long back there was no sickness at all the beast of the field were tame beast means the here beast over here means the cattle right the goat the sheep the cows the buffaloes which grazes in the field it is talking about that the beast of the field were tame they were under control of the human being one unending spring gave gave no place to winter so throughout the year it used to be spring time and there was no winter at all every tree and bush yielded fruit flowers carpet sorry flowers carpeted the earth there were birds then of more beautiful song and plumage than now so there were birds who used to sing beautiful songs it or now at this point of time or in this age of the world we rarely get to listen to the birds that they are melodiously singing or they are melodiously uh, saying something or making noise right so at that time there used to be the birds who used to sing merrily and people used to listen or love to listen to those of the birds right then um, it was at such a time that the indians were lone inhabitants of the american wilderness instead of amusement in closed rooms the sport of field was there so it was that time when people used to really enjoy and everyone used to live in unity and 
instead of staying in the home like today it has the main it is the main motto like we got to stay in the room right previously it used to be outside games right so people used to be more outside rather than staying in the home at night they met on the wide so this the chieftain is telling the story to the children like how it used to be when they were young right how it used to be when they were very small and how their grandparents used to tell that this is the time or this was the time green beneath the heavenly world the ah nagoka now this phase the ah nagoka is a village language right village language of saying so it was a good time of that right so it is a village language which has been put over here they watched the stars for they believed them to be the residents of the good who had been taken home by the great spirit now also this is there we believe that the stars uh, are actually those uh, the ones those who have uh, you know uh, those good people those who died on the earth they have become star so that was also the belief at that time also one night they saw one star that shone brighter than others its location was far in the south but an examination proved the star to be only a short distance away a number of warriors were deputed to go and see what it was they went and on their return said it appeared strange and somewhat like a bird so in a distance they saw a star which appeared to be very close to the earth and hence what happened warriors warrior means people those who fight and those who are the brave people right so those who were sent to find out what is that exactly and when they came back they said that it appeared to be like a bird a committee of wise men were called to enquire into and to ascertain the meaning of the strange phenomenon they feared that it might be the omen of some disaster so some of the wise men they sat together and they started to think about that why why is this uh, star so close to the earth is it that it is going to bring some evil to the earth right over here omen omen basically talks about events it can be events of good it can be events of or event of evil right in this case over here in this story over here omen of some disaster here it is talking about event of evil right so they they the wise man when they sat in a group they started to think whether it has come for good or whether it has come for bad so they expected that it has come so close to do something bad to the people on the earth some thought it a precursor of good other than evil so you see there were two thoughts basically one group of wise men were thinking that it is for good and the other group of wise men they were thinking that no it has come to do something bad to the people on this earth and how the earth was it was covered with greenery and everyone was having a joyful and a melodious life one moon had gone by but the mystery remained unsolved now one moon has gone by here it means actually it takes 27 days for a moon to come back to the same phase the kind of moon that you will see in the sky today if you want to see the same kind you have to wait for 27 days so one moon has gone by that means almost a month has gone by but the story remained same still the star was appearing very close to the earth and people were thinking some were thinking good some of them were thinking bad about so that is what is meant in the first line in this paragraph one night a young warrior had a dream in which a beautiful maiden came to his side and spoke young brave charmed with the land of my forefathers its flowers its birds its lakes and its mountains clothed with green i have left my sisters in yonder world to dwell among you young brave ask your wise man where can i live and see the happy race continually ask them what from i shall assume in order to be loved so one night a dream came to one of the warriors and it says that that the star is saying that where can the star live in this earth so it is asking or requesting the wise man to go and uh, this this person who was dreaming the star is asking that person to go and talk to the wise man 
of the group and tell them to give the star a place to live on this earth why because the star has left the sisters on the other side maybe in the east or maybe on the west and wants to dwell dwell means stay right amongst the beautiful earth beautiful things of the earth as it is said over here as you can see that young brave and is here in this paragraph it has talked about you see my forefathers its flowers its birds its lakes and its mountain clothed with green the star like the place so much that it doesn't want to stay in the sky anymore it wants to come to the earth the young man awoke on stepping out he saw the star blazing in its place at early dawn the chief's crier was sent to call every warrior to the council lodge so crier means a person who makes announcement at that time they used to be crier when they met the young warrior related his dream they concluded that the star has fallen in love with mankind and that it wanted to dwell with them the next night five tall noble looking brave were sent to welcome the stranger to earth they went and presented to it a pipe of peace filled with herbs and were rejoiced that it took it from them so that time you know a sign of peace used to be you know they used to say uh, give a pipe in which they used to put some flowers and some sacred uh, what you call leaves and other things and that used to be the offering to the person in front as a sign of peace so that was done when these five tall noblemen had actually gone to invite and bring the star into this earth right and to their surprise it was accepted also as they returned to the village the star followed them so you see how imaginative you see when when at night when you are walking or uh, when when you are moving in a car or maybe in a train you will find that along with you the moon or the stars are also moving with you if you have noticed if you have ever noticed it actually happens that so that is what is meant over here in this line also right so as they returned to the village the star followed them it appeared that the star is actually following again it came to the young man in a dream and desired to know where it should live now the star has accepted the invitation and now the star is wondering where should the star live so again the star appeared into the dream of that same man to whose dream the star came before places were named on the top of the giant trees or in flowers at length it was told to choose a place itself and it did so at first it dwelt in the white rose of the mountains but it was so buried that it could not be seen it went to the per prairie but it feared the hoof of the buffaloes prairie means grassland prairie you will learn in geography or you have already must have learned in social studies it's a it's, it's a grassland of america right and uh, over there the buffaloes or the cows or the wild animals the wildebeest and all they come to graze over there so there was this fear that the this uh, what you call uh, star or this flower may get you know uh, crushed by the hooves hooves means the foot of the cows and the buffaloes may get crushed by the hooves of these animals right it next shout the rocky cliff but there it was so high that the children whom it loved most could not see and then it went to the rocky cliff there are rocky mountains also in america so it went over there also to bloom and the flower i mean the star when it came to this earth it actually became a flower and it had different places of dwelling and it it was actually trying to live in different places to see whether that place is suited for the flower or not so it went to the rockies also but over there it was so far that the children whom this flower loved so much could not see only right i know where i shall live it said where i can see the gliding canoe of the race i most admire now here canoe means boat so the flower said that i know where i can dwell that means the flower is now talking about water because the boat sails in the water the boat moves in the water here canoe is mentioned over here so the flower said that that is the best place for me to 
live why because i admire the canoe when the canoe moves through the flowers and the leaves or through the water when it moves what happens it loves to see that picture or it loves to see that scene when the canoe is it move so the flower itself said that i know where i can live mm, children yes they shall be my playmates and i will kiss their slumber by the side of cool lakes right right next she alighted on the water the next morning thousands of white flowers were seen on the surface of the lakes and the indians gave them this name wa bi guanni that means white flower the star had lived in the southern sky her brethren can see can be seen far off in the cold north whilst her sister watch her in the east and in the west children when you see the lily on the water pray that it may be happy on earth as its two sisters the morning and the evening stars are happy in heaven so this was the end of the story this is how water lily water lily came came into place and this is this is a wonder tale right so you see we can see stars if you see the night sky and when when we'll see the star it appears like water lily if you have seen water lily that grows in a pond or in a lake in the night time you will find that it's pitch dark it's very dark only because of the moon's uh, light what happens the water lily shines over there as if you are seeing a sky if you see the pond or lake it's a very good experience if you can see all the water lilies that have bloomed at night and there is the moon in the sky the light is reflecting and the water lily appears as if you are seeing the sky down on the earth so this is how the name of the story is been put right so water lily appears to be the star and this is how water lily came into place the white flower came into place so this is all about the story i have given you some assignment please uh, go into the document named as assignment 1 right in this chapter you will find named as assignment 1 chapter um, the stars and the lily assignment 1 so do that assignment in your copy don't have to write the word meanings this time just write those in your copy okay thank you bye bye and have a great day